I'm going to Italy in four days. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this trip for months, but there's a lot of pre-vacation or pre-trip prep to do. I'm gonna make a list because there's a couple of things that need to get done. Today is Wednesday and I'm leaving on Sunday. I am a chronic procrastinator, but this is such a huge trip. I've never been to Europe. I actually never been anywhere outside of like the America. So I've hit obviously US, Mexico, Canada, and the Caribbean, like Jamaica and Cayman Islands, Puerto Rico. So basically this part of the world, never been to Europe. So, so excited for my first European summer, but there's a couple of things that need to get done. So I'm gonna make a note called trip prep. Number one is do my eyebrows. Number two is do my nails. Manicure, pedicure, I'm doing it myself. Um, I'm waiting for an Amazon order that's supposed to come in today. So I'm either gonna do my nails tonight or tomorrow. I've had these nails on, I lost one, for about three weeks now. They're super cute, but I kind of want something more like neutral and muted down. So I ordered a chrome polish. I've never tried chrome before, but I'm thinking either like a beige or like white underneath the chrome and then toes. I'm actually not sure. I honestly might just be safe and do white toes. I was gonna go get a pedicure, but I have spent a ridiculous amount of money on like shopping for this trip and I just don't want to go pay for something I know I can do myself. Same Amazon order. I also ordered like different pedicure tools. So I have eyebrows, nails. I'm going to put packing on here, but packing is actually going to be its whole other video because yeah, I'm packing for 10 days in the backpack. So stay tuned for that video. And then I also need to clean. I don't know about you guys, but before I go anywhere, whether it's a day trip, a weekend trip, two weeks, I have to like deep clean my whole place. Like I'm talking laundry, like mop, sweep, clean the fridge out, like a full on deep clean before I leave. That's probably gonna be closer to Friday or Saturday that I do that. I also need to check with my bank to make sure that my card is gonna work and tell them that I'm going and also check with my phone carrier to see like what I need to do to get service or data or what that situation is. Um, I guess I can add hair. So I need to strategically plan out when I'm going to wash my hair so that I can maximize it the most. I'm thinking I need to do it Saturday, like afternoon or evening will give me the best options. But those are the things that need to get done. So first we're gonna start with eyebrows. I just did a face mask and full skincare routine, but I've been debating back and forth on what to do with my eyebrows. So this is what my eyebrows look like. They honestly aren't that bad. I just want them to be touched up and have more shape. I've never tried threading, but I've just heard that it hurts so bad. I used to get them waxed, but I had a couple, I want to say two or three experiences where it just broke out. Like my skin did not react well. I think my skin is too sensitive for waxing. So I'm going to just get an eyebrow razor and a set of tweezers and kind of just gently touch them up because I don't want to risk getting them waxed and then my face is all like messed up right before my trip. So let's go in the bathroom and we're going to do that right now. Okay, here's the razors that I use for my face. These are linked on my Amazon storefront from Touch Bra. They come in packs of three. Use it for my eyebrows, my upper lip, face, everything. Oh, I wish I had a magnifying mirror. Let me get a compact mirror. I honestly don't touch my eyebrows that much anymore. I kind of just let them grow. Let's use yellow. Okay. So basically the main part is cleaning up like this top part and then the center is actually not that bad. I think for the under part, I might do more plucking, but let's see. 
Oh yeah, this is better, but I really need like a compact zoom mirror. So I'm gonna just gently um, shave down. I guess, I don't know if it's against or with the hair, but I'm just going down. I don't want them thin. I just want to kind of touch up. Okay, I'm going to close my eye. I'm always so scared that when I'm doing the bottom part, I'm going to like get my eyelash. <laughs> Was that out of focus the whole time? Okay, I think I got everything. <laughs> So it's hard to even see, but good amount of hair came off. The fact that I'm doing this right after I just did full skincare, I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna take some tweezers. I just got these from the store. These are just cheap ones from e.l.f. and kind of just pluck gently for any little hairs that were missed. I don't like plucking because who? wants to go through that pain. Ooh. Okay, I took a lot of that tail off. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't think I messed them up. I did make this one like a little bit shorter because the ends are getting kind of crazy. So I can chuck eyebrows off. Next thing I need to do is nails. Probably not until tomorrow because I need to wait for that Amazon order to come in. Just got my Amazon orders. Let's open them. Oh, earlier I got this um, that had come yesterday, but I went to pick it up. This is a Silk Life or Satin Scarf. Um, I'm gonna bring this with me as one. You can tie it like this and it's a cute top. And you can also wear it on your head as so. So this is one thing that came in and then I think everything else should be in these boxes. My apartment has a history of people stealing packages because they get left out so as soon as i got this notification i like ran outside to get them oh these are so cute okay this first thing i ordered is a little tiny um there's three different rolls of tums i'm at the age where like everything gives me heartburn so these are coming with me to italy this is um my pedicure kit there's two different tools in here this is the big ol' like foot callus scraper, which I know I'm gonna have to go in with because I'm a runner. I haven't gotten a pedicure, honestly, in like over a year. So this one is what you like scrape off the dead skin and cuticles. And then this one, I think these are both for cuticles, which is different like kinds. Oh. This is like, I forget what it's called, a pumice, what's it called? This one has two different sides, one like that. They're both kind of for the same purpose of just scraping off like dead skin. Probably gonna do all the nail stuff tomorrow. It's like five o'clock and I still have other things to do. So nails will get done tomorrow. All right, this is not related to my trip, but I needed this for something else. I ordered this little tiny calculator. Um, ooh, yes, this is the chrome. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're all different colors. This is the chrome powder that I'm gonna use. And then lastly, these should be packing cubes. I already ordered, um, packing cubes, but I didn't have enough. So I ordered some more. And you guys will see that in my packing video. And I got another book. So let me, I'll get it in a second. Um, I'm bringing two books with me. I'm still on my Colleen Hoover fix. This one is Heartbones, the book that I've been reading. 
I've been reading this for like two months. I need to start reading more. But um, this is the book that I've been reading, Never Never. I'm almost like halfway through. So I'll probably finish this one on the plane ride there and then have this one. There's lots of travel between planes and trains and I probably am gonna spend a lot of that time like editing content as I'm shooting it, but I still always bring books with me. And then these, these are the packing cubes. So I think this is kind of the same. Um, I honestly just ordered the cheapest ones I could find because some of them are like 30 or $40 and I'm just not doing that. So this one is a drawstring. Um, it's really hard to tell because it's so light, but it says, wish you had a colorful life. This is probably gonna be like a laundry bag. And then there's just a bunch of other cubes. This was a set of seven or eight, I believe. So these are my packing cubes. This one can be like for shoes. I thought there were bigger ones, to be honest. Oh, this one buttons down, okay. So here's the big one. And then this one's also a big one. And then there's another one. These could be used just for like, I don't know, what I'll put in here, something, but. Okay, that was a little Amazon order. So I'm gonna do most of the stuff tomorrow, like doing my nails and also probably packing tomorrow. Um, so yeah, trip prep is going. I leave in two days, two days, and I have to get some stuff done today. Um, packing has honestly been kind of stressful. I'm almost done. Here's the two bags that I'm bringing. Today I'm gonna do my nails. So I'm gonna do a home pedicure. I'm about to fill up the bathtub a little bit. I have some essential oils I'm going to drop in there and then I have my tools. This is what they use to scrape off calluses and I also have my scrub that I'm gonna do for my legs. So homemade pedicure. Once I finish that, I'll show you guys how I am going to do my nails. My toes are done. I just finished my first hand. This really pretty like baby blue chrome. Let me move into better lighting. It's really, it's kind of hard to tell. I need to wash my hands and dust off the powder, but it's so pretty. I definitely made a mess and spilled that chrome powder everywhere. I still need to do my hand, but I'm gonna, my right hand, I'm gonna take a break to go eat some lunch, but so far so good. This <clears throat> is a polish that I'm using. My gel extension nails are from a Prez. Um, I did run out of one of the sizes that I use, so on my right hand, I'm gonna have to use some of these gel-like. And then the polish is from Nail Reserve. This is the blue shade called Another Glass. Top coat is also from Nail Reserve. If you um, check the description, I actually have a discount code where you can save 50%. My last set, those pink nails were also Nail Reserve. This polish is bomb and i'm not just saying that because i have a code i actually really do love it and then i ordered this chrome powder set from amazon and just using q-tips to apply it all my nail supplies are always linked on my amazon so i'm going to finish the other hand off camera it is taking some time but i cannot go to italy with busted nails
morning. I leave on my trip tomorrow. I just got back from a run with my run club. That's why I look like this. I did four and a half miles and walked a little bit today. Here's what we're doing. I need to do my hair, wash it, fully style it, and clean. My apartment is so dirty and so messy. Just ate breakfast. I'm going to start cleaning. I'm cleaning everything like sweeping mopping i need to do all my bed sheets also clean out my fridge like wipe everything down i actually have a pr package coming in today with a brand new mousse from rizos curls i'm an ambassador so i am gonna wash my hair but not put any product in until i get that pr package hopefully it's gonna come soon my amazon package should be here by i think 10 p.m it said that has my other plug adapter and i also ordered one more thing on amazon i needed more like velvet hair ties so yeah i'm so excited for this trip i am 100 percent packed i actually finished pack finished packing yesterday i'm going to just double check everything and make sure all of my plugs and all this good stuff is in there um yeah i'm starting to ramble so let me go ahead and i'm going to start cleaning and just relax today i don't have any plans for today and get ready for my trip also i'm still debating so i either need to like stay up all night tonight or wake up like stupid early tomorrow so really quickly so i either need to stay up all night or wake up at like a really weird time like two or three in the morning because my flight tomorrow is at 3 p.m but because of the time difference by the time we get in italy well okay we have a layover at like 9 9 30 a.m in london and then we actually get into italy around noon so i need to sleep on the plane so that once we get there we're like going like that's our day in milan so there's no taking a nap there's no sleeping as soon as we hit italy we are literally like going to do stuff and so i need to sleep on the plane the first leg of my trip is a nine hour flight. So ideally, if I sleep for most of that flight, at least like seven hours, then I can land in Italy and be good to go. But trying to go to sleep at 3 p.m. is only gonna be possible if I stay up all night tonight or if I wake up like really, really early. So I'll see what I'm gonna do with that because I do need to be tired by the time I get on my flight. I'm in the middle of cleaning and I just looked down and my pinky toenail came off. Not the actual toenail, just gel polish. Um, side effect of running is that if you have a pinky toe, you're lucky. So I'm gonna add that to the list. I have to fix my pinky toe before I leave tomorrow. <laughs>
I thought I would be able to take with me on the trip, but obviously didn't fit in the bag. So I'm gonna put all these back in the closet. I bought way too much stuff. Like the amount of online shopping and in-person that I did was enough for like a three week trip. Like why, how did I think all of this was gonna fit in that backpack? The only thing is my plain outfit is in here somewhere. So plain outfit. that has the mousse in it i think they it feels like they just sent me um the mousse package not like a cute pr box or anything so after i eat lunch i'm gonna do my hair it has no product in it i just kind of like slicked it back after i got out the shower it's two o'clock 25 hours i'll be getting on the flight I am a little concerned because it's supposed to thunderstorm like today and tomorrow and American Airlines sent an email about possible like weather affecting it. So fingers crossed, knock on wood, that we are able to take off on time tomorrow. Why can't I open this? And normally I wouldn't try a new product going on a trip, but I love this brand and I'm pretty... <gasps> ah, my camera! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was, okay, camera saved. Um, normally I wouldn't try a new product before going on a trip, but I like this brand and know that it's gonna be good. They package a mess out of this. Oh, I did get the box, yay! It's really thin. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch over and make a quick little um, Instagram story opening it because I thought they just sent me, oh, it got smushed, but <laughs> it says hot curl summer. Oh, well, I guess I'll just open it like this. So here's what it is. It's a mousse. Um, also, fun fact, if you didn't see my vlog, in May, I went to LA for less than 24 hours and actually got to meet her, who is the owner of Rizos Curls. Super sweet, super nice, such an amazing experience to meet her. So here's the new mousse. It has cactus flower extract, red algae, coconut water, and maracuja, maracuja oil. So I'm gonna make a quick little, I'm so sad the box got dented up, but it's gonna go in the trash anyways. Okay, I'm gonna eat lunch. Ooh, and I got stickers. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then a cute little Carl card of different girls. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick Instagram story, eat lunch, and then do my hair. Hair is done. Use my Rizos Curls products. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I am prepped, ready to go, and so excited for this trip. Stay tuned, there's so, so much content coming. And in a little over a day, I will be in Italy. Ciao, I think that's high. I don't know how to say bye in Italian. <laughs>